Santa. What are you watching? Someone spoiled. So on Friday, while we were celebrating Bella's birthday, somebody stuck Charlie into one of our bathrooms to prevent him from eating the cupcakes. He was trying to eat everybody's food, so we kind of tucked him away, and we didn't realize that um, our kitten Savannah was in the bathroom sleeping behind the mirror. Shortly after putting Charlie in the bathroom, we heard quite a loud scuffle. Um, we heard, you know, cat screeches and screams. So we ran into the bathroom and we found Savannah and Charlie's mouth, um, blood everywhere. And we, we freaked out, we lost our minds because we thought the blood was coming from her. Savannah's poop somehow got all the way up on the sink. And there's blood all over the wall, on the bathtub. I had to squeeze my hand down here and get her from the floor. Splattered poop up here. This is how much blood La cleaned off of Charlie. There's hair everywhere. Looks like a massacre. But Charlie looks fine now. Charlie, how's your face? You're good? I wish Savannah was good. Thankfully, um, the blood was coming from Charlie. She had put up quite a fight and had uh, scraped up his ears really good and got his nose. So the blood was oozing from him, not her. But she was left unable to use her back legs right almost like this area here where the tail and the hips are like right there i thought i felt a little break yeah but we don't want to poke around too much at it but like if i she's not gonna do it so the she leg her toes. the leg feels heavy like so i feel like it's something that controls the legs that's making it because is she yeah. see she moves her toes when we touch over here um i immediately thought broken spine something wrong with her tail we thought she was paralyzed so we took her into the room, got her secluded from everybody. We lifted her carefully and kind of just played it by ear and watched to see what would happen because unfortunately the emergency vet was over a hundred dollars just to walk through the door. We didn't want to waste all of what we had on just walking in the door. We wanted to make sure that she was going to get x-rays. Um, and taken care of at least, instead of just wasting our money walking through the door. Because of Memorial Day, we were kind of stuck not being able to take her anywhere yesterday either. So I called first thing this morning and thankfully they had an opening today at 1230. So we're gonna take you guys along with us. I'm pretty nervous for what we're gonna be told, but I'm hopeful because over the weekend, she has shown us that she can use her tail she can move her back legs and her feet. Um, she's eating, she's drinking, she's using the bathroom. She's not able to get up and use the bathroom, but we've got her on uh, puppy pads on the little bed that we have her in. So I'm nervous, but hopeful at the same time. And uh, we're, we're fixing to leave now. We got about a 45 minute drive to the vets. Diana, are you ready to go see the doctor? No. <laughs> she said, no, Mom, I don't want to go. Vienna kitten. You could go see the doctor today? Let's see what's going on. It's a good girl.
she tried standing. She got up twice. She did, and then I was rubbing her, and she just laid back down. Yeah, but look at her back leg. That's so weird. It's so weird. See, look at her back leg. Look how weird it's shaped. I think maybe he broke her hip. I think so. I don't know. I have a bad feeling this is going to result in surgery. Yeah, more than likely. Hannah. Mm. Right. Oh, look at her hugging the food. Here you come. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty girl. You did good, Mama. Ready to go home? Vanna. It's been a long day. Careful, careful. Good girl. Well, we're home from the vet. And unfortunately, the verdict is she has a broken back. So for right now, we're doing supportive care with pain medication. The first three days she's going to be on pain meds that um, have an anti-inflammatory to help the swelling in her back go down. And then for six weeks, as needed, she has pain medication. Um, she has some limited mobility in her back end, so we're hopeful that once the vertebrae fuses back together here, we're hopeful that... I don't know, maybe we can do like kitty physical therapy and help her learn how to walk again, depending on how much use she has of her back legs. We don't know how much nerve damage was done. But that's the verdict as of right now. Lots of prayers for Miss Savannah. Savannah, I say goodbye to the people. Sorry guys, it's bath time. <laughs>